You've heard of the terror bird and pictured a giant murderous chicken, but the real story is cooler and weirder. Terror? Birds? The Farouche weren't he dinosaurs. They were Cenozoic birds that dominated South American landscapes for tens of millions of years. From roughly the Eocene through the Pliocene and maybe into the Pliocene, they were apex predators long after the dinosaurs were gone. Some of them were huge, think up to three meters tall, with massive hooked beaks for stabbing and tearing. They were built to run, not fly and likely use their beaks and neck momentum to dispatch prey rather than wrestle giant mammals. Here's a twist people love. At least one kind, Titanus, turned up in North America. Fossils from Florida and Texas show terror birds hopped or northward long before the Isthmus of Panama fully closed, part of a messy migration story during the meeting. So yes, terror birds did reach North America. But it wasn't a Cretaceous sword and shield moment. It happened millions of years later. So why did terror birds disappear? The short answer, we don't know one single cause. For a long time, people blamed new North American predators, saber-toothed cats and canids after the great American biotic interchange. But recent studies show the picture is mixed. Some farouche race of groups were already declining before big carnivores arrived. And climate change plus habitat shifts during the Pliocene Pleistocene likely played a big role too. In other words, it's a cocktail of ecological change. New competitors in some regions and changing climates, not a single dramatic takeover. And here is something strange. A 2017 study from Uruguay found farouche racid remains that might be as young as the late Pleistocene. Which raises the tantalizing question, did tiny, relict terror birds hang on much later in isolated pockets? If so, they might have met humans in some places, but the evidence is still debated. Want to guess whether terror birds overlapped with humans? Type, yes or no, below. Terror birds were real, apex predators of a long gone world, dramatic, specialized, and eventually outpaced by a changing earth. Not a cartoon villain, but a chapter in an evolving ecosystem that teaches us how fragile even top predators can be.